to our Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Registrar Dean of Students, uh, obsequious prelature, subordinate and insubordinate staff, Student Governing Council, delegates and fellow comrades, good evening. Let me begin by thanking the Almighty God for making this day a success. For sure, we, we all know it is not by might nor by power, but by the divine grace and unmerited favor from the Lord to have made it this far. Allow me to thank the administration and the management for supporting, bolstering up, resuscitating, and funding the election. It is clear to all and sundry that no society in history has ever advanced without an elite leader. It is not rocket science. The administration made it possible for us to practice democracy in our institution. Masaimara University is the most democratic institution of the higher learning since we conducted a presidential election rerun. There is no any other institution of higher learning in history that has ever conducted a rerun. None. This is plain, simple, and a straightforward fact. Secondly, allow me to thank the Independent Student Electoral Commission, ISEC, for working independently, tirelessly, diligently, and fairly. We understand that the election period was too cumbersome for you, but you conducted the process in a free, fair, and credible manner. Our gratitude to you is whole and unfailing. That is, allow me to thank the Comrade Super Alliance. We are all convinced with no reason about doubt and without fear of contradiction that Comrade Super Alliance is an official party in Masaimara University. <laughs> this party consists of leaders who champion for the rights and interests of the Comrades in a salubrious manner. It encompasses of intellects educated elites, members of the intelligentsia, influential quarters in the realm of academia, the top cream of the University of Masaimara University. <laughs> Allow me also to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Tim Oyo, our political opponents and nemesis. Thanks for helping us to realize our potential. Thanks for being there and fostering a stiff competition. It was not an easy feat and neither was it a walk in the park. Comrade Super Alliance winning is a clear indication that the comrades cho chose their preferred candidates and their best choice. <laughs> Therefore, we are ready to work with our opponents. We are ready to work with Brother Oyo and his brothers and sisters so that we can create a salubrious environment, a salubrious concord in Masaimara University. <laughs> On to my manifesto and agenda. Let me begin by thanking the administration for granting the Student Governing Council an office. Let, let's give credit where it's due. The only challenge is that the offices are not furnished with up to standards furniture. We need comfy and salubrious offices whereby comrades can meet us and advocate for their rights and privileges a place whereby we can serve the comrades to the best of our ability. During my tenure, I will advocate for a salubrious concord or a rapport between the administration and the students. The former regime, used, the former regime and our predecessors used activism as a means of advocating for the needs interests and rights of the comrades. We form the embodiment of intelligentsia, intellectual and elites in the realm of academia. We are the top cream of the society. We will use diplomacy. I believe, I believe in being a paleoconformist. A conformist. I will foster dialogue, which fosters a win-win situation for both the administration and the students. We kindly request the admin to reopen Gate D. Comrades from Gate D. Com comrades from Gate D are having a hard time going round using the main gate. Yet Gate D is ideal for them due to proximity to the institution presence. We request the administration to allocate gatemen and guards authority over Gate D to curb the, the challenge of theft and ferrying contraband items such as drugs. <laughs> Efficient piping will also help in sanit sanitation to curb the COVID-19 pandemic. 
the guards should also have thermal guns to record the temperature of various comrades. Without the administration for the developed and up to standards infrastructure like the Olekarei Lecture Hall and Olekarei Annex and Mau Complex, infrastructural upgrade is also required in Suso and Serengeti halls of residence. There are no doors in Suso and Serengeti washroom. The, rem the remaining ones are superannuated, obsolete, and antiquated. Likewise, in Loita, the same bottleneck persists in bathrooms. Furthermore, the window panes are not there. One can visibly see a student taking shower in Loita from the student centre. Wing B, Wing B in Loita is the most affected. We cannot forget to mention the improvement of Gate C. There is a lot of dust which deals us a big blow. forget to mention the improvement of Get C. There is a lot of dust which deals us a big blow in terms of health. Flu and running nose is a common challenge to many communities. From Mara or Loita to Get C, a student transforms from being a comrade to a nomad and pastoralist. To get see a student transformed from being a comrade to a nomad and pastoralist because of the dust, which is evident. We can build the pathway from Mara to get see using efficient cab roads. This will act as a panacea to this great shortcoming. <laughs> Lastly, we cannot forget the aspect of sports because we have great sportsmanship and equal to the task at least in our institution. We therefore request the administration to recarpet the basketball court. Give more balls to the players. The football school team is given only one ball per semester by the school. We kindly request that they may be given more than five balls so as to nurture their talents and sharpen their skills. We also request the administration to resuscitate and bolster up the talent show week. <laughs> Lastly and finally, let us work together to rebrand the name of our great institution which has been tarnished in ill will, malice, spite, aversion, repugnance by the fourth estate. They only focused on dull and gloom and forgot that there is glow and glitter in Masai Mara University. Just like one psychologist, one American psychologist, who said that, that the birds of worry and care fly above our heads, this we may not stop, but that they can build nests in our hair, this we may prevent. Nests in this aspect are the challenges the shortcomings and the bottlenecks that we face. <laughs> we are the agents and the advocates of change that we want to see. Let us walk the talk. Having said much, I can always say, with God all things are possible. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, allow me to give our dean, Mr. Adam, a five thumbs up because of the good work that he has done. He has brought the, uni the unifying factor in this institution. He called me, together with my political opponent, Brother Oyo. He told us to work together to foster unity, to foster greatness in Masai Mara University. That cannot go unrewarded. Thank you so much. May God bless us all. May God bless Masai Mara University Fraternity. Thank you so much. The Vice Chancellor, uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, 
the chief librarian, the chief security officer, the chief returning officer, the deputy chief returning officer, the dean of students, the university legal officer, subordinate and insubordinate staff, distinguished guests, my fellow colleagues in the pursuit of academic excellence, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to you all. I take this opportunity, this golden opportunity, to first and foremost express the greatest amplitude of gratitude to the Almighty God, who in his unmerited power and blessings has made it possible for all of us to witness this important inaugural ceremony. We, do not, we don't observe today as a victory of students of Masai Mara University, but as a celebration of the democratic freedom symbolizing an extrapolation of a democratically free and fair institution founded on the tenets of transparency, inclusivity, and an egalitarian environment which surpasses the threshold of equality, not to mention equity. I also thank the school administration through the Office of the Dean of Students for organizing and facilitating such a free and fair elections. Not to forget, I convey a special, a special thank you to the ISEC body for their devotion in allowing the will of comrades to prevail. As Abraham Lincoln once said, a vote is more powerful than a bullet. I would love to thank all comrades who turned up in large numbers on the 3rd of August to elect their members of their electoral colleges who sequentially elected the student governing council leaders on the 5th of August and the 9th of August for the case of the presidential rerun. I also want to recognize and appreciate my opponents who are contesting for the seat of Secretary General and the other amalgam seats to be contested on. They have worked tirelessly throughout the, throughout the election campaign. They have endured in this struggle and made a lot of sacrifices. I respect and admire their strength and courage I believe that they have not lost but won because without the pressure we received from them, we who not have put more effort to win these elections. I congratulate them and welcome their ideas and support towards the development of Masai Mara University Student Association <laughs> and seek the interest and welfare of every student in this great institution. I would also love to convey a special thank you to my alliance, the Comrade Super Alliance. Fidelis said, our spiritual mentors, political mentors, political strategists, and our loyal delegates. They say tough moments never last, but tough people do last. <laughs> our ability to stand strong during these times of elections goes directly in tandem to the massive spiritual support, moral support, financial support, and even fiscal support, which cannot go unmentioned. May the favors and blessings of our Lord fill you to the brim. Masai Mara University Student Association was founded on the values of leadership, integrity, innovation, and teamwork. These are values I believe we all share, and in student unionism, we aren't enemies but friends. Though passion might have broken our relationship, but it must not break our bond of comradeship and affection. Because a people united with the power of collective responsibility and a common destiny can change their situation for a common good. Remember, we are collectively responsible for our university development and leadership is just but an opportunity for the provision of strategic focus. Being elected as the Secretary General, I have apprehended and comprehended properly my own ass and responsibility to the great comrades of Masai Mara University. As the voice of comrades, I believe in the maxim of peace is a process, a way of solving problems. I promise to create not only a good but best rapport between the school administration and the comrades. I will employ dialogue to, the best, to be the best remedy, remedy to any situation affecting all comrades at large and pray for more divine knowledge even while implementing various policies of the Student Governing Council. I have served as a class representative in this great institution with a lot of zeal and zest, never minding about the zero pay, but service to humanity has been my greatest desire. <laughs> Having ascended in the, land, in the ladder of leadership, I think it is sagacious to champion for our able leaders, our class representatives, to be able to acquire some token of appreciation. <laughs> Oh, 
for the hard work and passion they have inculcated into this great institution. It goes without saying that they are the engines of learning in our institution, since they coordinate the day-to-day -day learning. I beseech with the office of the dean and the concerned officers to take this matter into cognizance. The goal of every comrade is to graduate and start a life in the outside world. This goal might become a mystery to some because of the bottlenecks of missing marks and supplementaries. In that accord, I make an humble request to the school administration to organize mop-up exams to the fourth year students awaiting for their graduation in the month of December. It is crystal clear of the hard work our Dean of Students has done in, the, in our great institution in catapulting it to be a world-class university. I give you five thumbs up, Mr. Dean. <laughs> and promise to lie us fully with your office in sorting out the issues bedeviling comrades. On the issue of bursary allocation, a lot of great work has been done by outgoing student governing council, but in order to reduce to to reduce to the divinity of zero infinity the number of departments because of fees, I request the Dean of Students to help us out in increasing the amount in bursary allocation so that every comrade will get a fair share of the bursary amount <laughs> in order to curb the number of departments. Academic trips is also one of the vital areas in our, in our institution <laughs> in which little attention has been paid towards. Academic trips impart students with a lot of exposure to various fields of study, which will thus contribute much to excellent students after the four years of study. It is my greatest desire, it is my greatest desire that the academic trips will be married together with normal class classroom teaching in order to break monotony in class and result to exposure. Since, since exposure begets composure. For the first time in Masaimara University, there has been a tie in the presidential elections. All this culminated because of the issue of a spoiled vote going forward. I will recommend the Masaimara University student, student constitution be reviewed and some of the loopholes as pertaining the clarity and authenticity of a spoiled vote to be clearly defined. <laughs> Being a matter we have deja vu, we can we can evade a scenario vis-a-vis -vis what happened on 5th of August at the counting of the presidential elections. All in all, we thank God for, his bless for blessing us with great legal minds that helped in sorting out the issue. To conclude, I love to quote Donald McGannon, that leadership is an action, not a position. I cordially seek for every comrade support in executing my responsibilities, and even those manifestos that I had not previously presented, I promise to do my best to deliver my best. I love you all, comrades. Long live Masaimara University. Long live the Republic of Kenya. God bless you. Oshonte.